Number nine, sheep's head fish. While fishing off the Melbourne, Florida coast recently, fisherman Paul Lohr caught a strange looking fish with a zebra-like print and humanoid teeth. In an interview with Lad Bible, the 33-year-old angler described the fish's body as like a snapper-typed fish, very compact but meaty. He also mentioned that the creatures have a very strong bite power. Not enough to take a finger, but enough to make you never go near the teeth again. Despite its unusual appearance, the species itself is not rare. It's known as a sheep's head fish, and the creature is typically found on the Gulf and Atlantic coasts in the US. It feeds mainly on crustaceans and uses its teeth to crush barnacles, clamshells, and crab shells, according to Lore, who added, then the shell comes out of their gills almost like a filter so they do not consume a lot of the shell. He further explained that the sheep's head fish is nicknamed the poor man's crab in his area because its diet makes its meat taste like crab. The species grows to around 30 inches or 76 centimeters long, but Lore pointed out that specimen of all sizes are incredibly strong, stating, as soon as you hook them, they swim sideways with a lot of force, and so even a small one feels like a huge fish. Lore released the bizarre fish back into the water after catching it. Number eight, Otapaima. A young boy named Edmund Getz recently encountered an Amazonian river monster. The bizarre fish had washed ashore on the banks of the Caloosahatchee River in Cape Coral, Florida. It was like gray in color with a really, really thick head, Getz told the local station WINK News. The seven-year-old and his mother both claimed that the specimen was as large as the boy. The creature in question turned out to be an otapaima, according to the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, FWC, which confirmed that the fish is between three and four feet Fully grown otopimas can reach lengths of up to 10 feet or three meters, and sometimes weigh over 400 pounds or 181 kilograms. Some people think it's one of the largest, if not the largest freshwater fish in the world, explains Calusa Waterkeep John Cassini, who added that they leap out of the water at great heights. Besides being massive, the species is known for its aggressiveness. Additionally, otopimas are native to the Amazon, they're one of the many invasive wildlife species found throughout Florida and which threaten the state's ecosystems. Cassini and the FWC believe that somebody probably dropped the Atapaima into the river. I was pretty surprised initially to see a species that I hadn't seen before in Florida waters, Cassini said. Atapaimas are extremely resilient, having remained virtually unchanged throughout their five million plus year existence. This potentially spells bad news for the less stable species in Florida, where the FWC is strongly encouraging people to immediately report any out-of-place creatures they cross paths with. Number seven, mutant shark. Indonesian fisherman Abdullah Nurin and his brother were quite surprised after accidentally capturing a pregnant female shark in their trawler net in the East Nusa Tenggara province. When they cut her open and found three unborn pups inside, two looked similar to the mother, while the third baby shark appeared mutated, bearing shockingly human-like facial features, including two round, cartoonish eyes. Nurin told the media that he planned to keep and preserve the dead shark pup as a good luck charm of sorts. Neighbors offered to buy the specimen from him, but he is unwilling to sell it, according to the Daily Mail. My home has been crowded with people who want to see the shark, he said. Marine conservation biologist Dr. David Schiffman told The Independent that the shark's facial features likely resulted from a congenital defect of some sort, and that it was probably not a new species. He tweeted that the condition may be something called cyclopia, which is characterized by two eyes with a fused orbit. Number six, paddlefish. While fishing in the Allegheny River near Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania in 2017, an experienced local fisherman named Aaron Thompson reeled in the most unusual catch of his life. It just took off, he told the CBS affiliate KDKA2 Pittsburgh. It kind of stayed in the water. Then when it got so far, it came up out of the water. And that's when I knew I had something different. Then we fought for maybe 10, 15 minutes before we got it in. Thompson's wife took photos and posted them on social media, 
where they received an outpouring of shocked responses. Some commenters speculated that the fish was a prehistoric monster, and they weren't too far off with this guess. The local Army Corps of Engineers picked up the specimen, which turned out to be an American paddlefish, a long-lived species that first appeared on the fossil record around 125 million years ago. Paddlefish are bottom feeders, meaning that they are not attracted to bait, but this one just happened to become snagged in Thompson's fishing line. He released it back into the river, telling the media in his own words, a picture's good enough, you don't have to kill everything you catch. American paddlefish are identifiable by their long, slender snouts. They are closely related to sturgeons, another so-called living fossil specimen that has remained virtually unchanged for millions of years. Last July, fisherman James Lucart caught a massive 70 and a half inch long, 146.7 pound paddlefish at Keystone Lake in northeastern Oklahoma, nabbing the new state record for the largest paddlefish caught on record. He defeated the previous record set by his fishing guide, who, just a month earlier, captured a 143 pound or 65 kilogram paddlefish. Despite being bumped from the number one spot, the guide showed good sportsmanship by providing a witness signature on the affidavit detailing the new record holder. Number 5. Long-Nosed Chimera Gary Goodyear, a fisherman from Templeman, Newfoundland and Labrador, Canada, was shocked last year when he caught a species he didn't recognize while fishing for turbot in Bonavista Bay. The crew discovered the strange, deep-dwelling creature after hauling the boat's net up from over 2,600 feet below the water surface. Nobody knew what it was. I said, good God, what the heck is that? Goodyear told CBC. I've never seen nothing like that before. I thought it was a platypus, because he had that big snout on it. Measuring nearly 3.3 feet or one meter long, the fish looked like he had wings and his nose was almost like rubber in Goodyear's words. The perplexed angler posted photos of the creature on Facebook in hopes that somebody could identify it. He determined that it was likely a long-nosed chimera and that he was lucky nothing bad happened to him or his crew while they handled it. We didn't know it had a spine with venom in it, he said, adding, it was just another fish to us, and we were handling that with bare hands. It's the strangest fish Goodyear has ever encountered. In his words, to tell the truth, I don't want to see much more. Carolyn Meary, a marine biologist with the Newfoundland and Labrador Department of Fisheries and Oceans, said that long-nosed chimeras are related to sharks, skates, and rays. Hailing from the Rhinochimadera family, there are eight known living species. These ancient fish, which are typically found 656 and 3,280 feet or 200 to 1,000 meters below the water surface, lack bones and are entirely cartilaginous. It has a long, pointy snout, Miri told CBC. Its green eyes are bright neon, which gives you that surreal or monster effect to it. She further explained that the fish Goodyear accidentally captured likely died while being hauled to the surface due to pressure changes in the water, adding that the fisherman and his crew were lucky that it was not alive, as the fish could inflict a bad injury if the animal was alive and flailing, thrashing about. Number 4. Out of Place Opa Late last year, a group of fishermen made what they called a once-in-a-lifetime catch 80 miles off the Virginia Beach coast a 143-pound opa fish. This deep-dwelling species, also known as the moonfish, is typically found in tropical or temperate waters off the coast of the U.S., as well as Hawaii and other Pacific islands. It's the only known fully warm-blooded fish. The group, consisting of friends John Weatherington, Michael McTaggart, and Nick Kemp, believed that they had made the first-ever opa catch on record in Virginia, which is a believable claim, considering that the species is not known to live in those waters. While the world record opa catch weighed 180 pounds, most specimens weighed around 100 pounds or 45 kilograms on average, making the Virginia beach catch impressive in its own right. The men caught the gigantic fish near an area called Norfolk Canyon, where the water's depth drops from 300 feet or 91.4 meters to around 6,000 feet. They had spent hours trying to catch swordfish with no luck when the opa bit the bait. 
45 minutes of wrestling with the fishing line ensued before the friends managed to get the gargantuan fish on deck. The catch was so rare, other fishing boats didn't believe what the men had reeled in. But the pictures they took spoke for themselves. And at last update, the group was waiting to hear if they had made a record catch as they suspected. Jelly Nose Fish Earlier this year, someone contacted the Florida Fish and Wildlife Research Institute with photos of an unidentified, unique-looking fish that they found on New Smyrna Beach. Researchers determined that the specimen was a jelly nose fish, a group of ray fin fish from the Atelodopapi family, which encompasses roughly a dozen species across four genera. Knowledge of these bottom-dwelling deepwater fish, which also goes by the name tadpole fish, is limited due to their difficult-to-access environment, making the chance encounter one rare. Officials from the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, FWC, said that the fish likely washed ashore amid Gulf Stream currents and eddies. In 2009, researchers from a sea turtle conservation program caught a dead, six-foot-long, two-meter, jelly-nosed fish off the coast of Bahia, Brazil. At first, scientists didn't recognize the creature. They eventually identified it as a member of the Atelodopapi family, but were unable to determine whether it was a previously unknown species. These fish are known for their scaleless bodies and soft, blunt noses, and were first discovered in the 1840s. They are found in many parts of the world at depths between 1,300 and 2,300 feet. Like most other deep-sea species, they are cartilaginous, and their bodies are not designed to survive at sea level or anywhere near it making it highly unlikely for a person to cross paths with a living specimen. Number 2. New Species While anchored off the coast of central Japan during an expedition in 2016, marine biologist Yoshihiro Fujiwara and a crew of other scientists captured a huge, bizarre, never-before-seen purple fish using specialized nets that descended all the way to the seafloor. Fujiwara was sure that someone else had seen the creature before, since these waters are so heavily fished, CBS News reported. But this was surprisingly not the case. Working with the rest of his team from the Japan Agency for Marine Earth Science and Technology, JAMSTEC, Fujiwara searched for previous references to the strange creature and found none, leading them to conclude that they had genuinely discovered a new species. Jan Yade Poulsen, a Denmark-based biologist, was skeptical when he first saw grainy photos of the creature, which the crew claimed weighed 55 pounds or 25 kilograms. Lucy Kraft told Dana Jacobson in a CBS This Morning interview earlier this year. Poulsen further explained that while it's not uncommon to discover big bony fishes in the ocean's surface layers, it's extremely rare to find one at extreme depths. Dubbed Yokozuna, or Sumo Champ, the fish is an apex predator, according to an isotope analysis. Further studies place the specimen within the Alifosophalid family of fish that exist worldwide and are commonly known as slickheads. There are around 100 known species. Based on a few seconds of video footage that the crew captured nearly 2,600 meters below the water's surface, Experts believe that the Yokozuna is a strong swimmer that may cover long distances. But there is a lot left to learn about the newly identified creature, which is difficult to observe in its natural habitat. Number 1. Sea Lamprey In early 2013, a photo of an alien-looking creature that a New Jersey fisherman caught on the Raritan River two years earlier went viral on social media. The 23-year-old angler, Doug Cutler, had thought nothing of the catch at the time. After all, these eel-like specimens, with round mouths filled with sharp rows of teeth, were a common sight for the experienced fishermen. The images of the catch went viral after Cutler's friend posted them on Reddit in a weirdest catch contest, and mainstream media quickly picked up on the story. The creature, known as a sea lamprey, measured roughly three feet or one meter long and weighed around four and a half pounds or two kilograms, according to Cutler. They are parasitic, snatching onto fish with their sucker-like mouths and using their teeth-covered tongues to pierce the prey's skin and suck out their insides. Sea lampreys are considered invasive in some places, like the Great Lakes, where they pose a major threat to the region's marine ecosystems. But they are considered endemic in the area where Cutler caught one, 
as they are known to seasonally travel upriver from the ocean to spawn. Cutler speared the sea lamprey simply because he had never caught one before. He didn't eat it, even though some fishermen do. Instead, he simply took pictures and discarded the dead specimen. Thanks for watching. What do you think of these bizarre catches? Let me know in the comments, and if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe for more videos like these. Oh, <laughs>